So it starts off with Kratos trying to go to sleep, and we know he's probably dreaming about murdering some people because his ass is disturbed. He's woken up by this loud ass bang, and it's obvious to me that at this point Kratos has still not made it out the trenches yet. But he's used to this, so you already know he got that thing on him at all times and pulls up to the door. He has never ducked a fade once in his life. Opens the door, and why is bro posing outside like that? I know his ass swear he's so cold. That shit definitely going on the gram. So Kratos like, who are you? And all he does is just show off Mjolnir. I guess that was to be the cue to show off like, ooh, I'm Thor. But Kratos is looking at him still just like, who? Thor asks to come in offering them some alcohol and Kratos is just like, nah, I'm straight gang. And I feel him, some random big nigga just shows up to your front doorstep offering you some random substance to drink and you just supposed to take it? He carrying some of Bill Cosby's secret stuff for sure, I'm good. Kratos then starts whispering to Atreus, make sure you put our good chairs away, this big nigga finna break them, and decides to invite Thor into the house. As he's walking in, him and Kratos are staring off at each other, and Jesus Christ, bro, this motherfucker is tall as hell. Bro is out here playing with the wrong thunder. OKC needs a new center right now. Thor then walks inside, and a crow follows him in. And right then and there, everybody should have known something was up. Crows only appear when some evil shit is about to happen. Now he's inside, dick sucking, telling him how nice the crib is, all that. Got his whole belly and titties out and everything, man. Put that away. shit away. Like There's kids here. here. Kratos closes the door and then him and Thor decide to sit down at the table and have a drink. And as we can see here, it's been three years since we last saw Atreus and it's clear that his barber is still playing pranks on him to this day. Y'all got little nigga out here rocking this straight whole repellent cut. They begin to sit there and chat for a little bit and then they hear a knock at the door. Atreus is Alfred to Kratos' Batman, so he goes to get the door and hold up, my son Atreus got a neck tat? These middle schoolers out here going crazy, I just know he be posing like these. I bro, we see it, I promise. He opens up the door and some Ernie Johnson looking ass nigga is just standing there with one eye. Atreus is confused looking like, Yo, what's pop? <laughs> Yo, who the fuck is this nigga? And where the hell he got that ice from? God damn, them bitches is dancing. He starts sucking in crows into his body and nobody in this universe could ever just make a regular entrance, huh? Whatever happens to dudes just walking in and telling everybody, yo, what's up, and dapping up. So this is Odin, who is Thor's father, and he instantly walks in asking, do y'all know who I am? Invites himself to the table, takes their drink and starts drinking it, starts walking around like he owns the place. And I can't stand a dude with no manners coming in my house, kicking your feet up. Boy, I oughta. Kratos starts asking Odin, like, yo, what do you want from me? Yeah, what do you need? And Odin responds by saying, How about peace? Yeah. <laughs> and then Odin starts babbling for the next five minutes, trying to offer Kratos a deal. Says he'll ignore the fact that Kratos killed his grandsons and Thor's sons. Says he'll ignore the fact that Kratos killed Baldur, who was Odin's tracker. Says he'll let Kratos keep the prisoner he stole from Odin, who is Mimir. He even tells Kratos he'll take care of his ops for him, which is Freya. And all Kratos has to do is stop his search for the Norse god of war, who is Tyr. Ooh wee! This deal sounds sweet as hell. Ain't no way Kratos turned this shit down. No. Kratos gives the most Kratos answer of all time, and because not a single nigga in this universe knows how to be civil, this means one thing. Now they have to box. Odin tells Thor to take care of it, and Thor gets up looking in the other direction, hitting that no look. <laughs> Light skin off guard shit, calling in Mjolnir and chin checking the shit out of Kratos, sending him mad far away. Starts telling Kratos about how he not from here and they do stuff different around these parts. Shit kinda feel racist but it's whatever. Kratos isn't scared anyways, he like, today I got Tom cuz. Starts pounding the absolute hell out of Thor's face but he's just eating those holes until they crash land. When Kratos grabs him by the hair, taking fighting tactics from the shorties banging Thor's head into the wall and then getting one last lick off with the left. They both fall onto the ground, Thor and his round self bouncing off the pavement like a basketball. Both get up and start running the ISO, which is what they do. They start fighting for a while until Kratos has Thor hitting that will you marry me. Puts together a nice ass combo and goes to hit him with the shield. Him and Kratos start fighting over it and I'm not gonna lie to you Kratos, you my boy, but you not getting that shield back from him. His ass is convinced that that is a plate, he is not letting go anytime soon. 
Kratos pins Thor against the wall and puts his hand in the air starts waving it side to side. I don't know what's gotten into Kratos, now is not the time to start hitting the Nene bro. He's trying to call his axe towards him but it is just taking mad long to pull up. Just out here embarrassing bro, this must be how Tony felt when he was gassing up Bruce Banner in front of the aliens. Just for this dude to be the unincredible Hulk in front of the ops, had Squidward straight clowning niggas. The axe then finally comes in at the very last minute like Goku. Dog pulled up to Namek talking about some I'm here to save the day. Nigga, who's left to save? Kratos catches it and slashes Thor in the belly, forcing him to start moonwalking backwards in pain. They begin to box for a little bit more until Kratos uppercuts him in the face with the axe, gets clocked in the stomach and starts flying up, eventually crashing his back into a statue. That hammer is strong as shit. I mean, we seen how it had Captain America going out sad in front of the hose. Kratos ducks out the way, gets hit with a mean right, and then is able to duck out the way again of the hammer, returning with a slash to Thor's belly. This is the second time Kratos has sliced open Thor's belly. He's giving this motherfucker liposuction. This shit right here is the male BBL. Why is niggas getting surgery for abs? Motherfucker, if you don't do some push-ups. He goes to try to throw Thor off the axe, but Thor got like 10 inches of belly. It's stuck in there. As they go flying down until Thor grabs bro by the head like a basketball, slamming him face first into a sheet of ice. He's giving Kratos that Miguel O'Hara to Miles Morales treatment right now. Bro heard there was a black Spider-Man and said, oh no, nah, we got a clear house. Thor gets up and starts talking to the statue, turning his back to Kratos, absolutely disrespectful, not taking him serious. Kratos a jealous girlfriend, not getting enough attention. You always on that damn game instead of spending time with me. I woke up Chris Breezy. Picks up a big ass rock and hits him in the back with it. They start throwing hands again for a while until Thor picks up Kratos and slams him headfirst into the ground. Picks him back up and tosses him away like an irrelevant side character, treating him like he TN. Following it up with the hammer which Kratos is able to push out the way. This stupid ass thought it was free reigns, started charging in at Thor but PSYCH! That's the wrong number! Goes in for a kill shot but Kratos is able to block it and they stand there playing a mean game of tug of war. While they've been doing this, the hammer has been charging up and it charges up long enough, hitting Kratos in the forehead and then smacking him across the face with the hammer, literally killing him, showing the end screen and everything. Bullshit, that's a distraction, rip it on any beat, that's an adaption, I'm running out of breath, I'm bringing it back in. <gasps> Thor done zapped this man Kratos back to life to kick his ass some more, you know how crazy that is? And I already know both of Thor's sons, which Kratos rolled into a pack last game, are looking up right now at their pops like, why? Why didn't you finish the job? Haven't y'all niggas ever read the tortoise and the hare? But before we continue with that, a quick word from prize picks now listen up because i'm putting you guys on right now prize picks is the easiest way to play daily fantasy sports valid in 30 plus states i've been testing my skills on prize picks this nba season so far and it's at an entire new level of excitement towards daily fantasy for me and if you have the skills which i know a lot of you do because you watch my nba videos you could turn ten dollars into 250 dollars with just a few taps the fact that PrizePix has quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and an enormous selection of players and stat types is what makes it the number one daily fantasy sports app. Just last week, I selected Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, and Julius Randle and was able to times my money by 10. The Knicks were playing the Clippers, and as a fellow New Yorker, my friends were looking at me like a traitor while rooting for Kawhi and PG to get buckets, but they understood. I needed to win, and I did. Go to PrizePix and use the code BLANKBOY for a first deposit match up to $100. Daily Fantasy Sports made easy. Kratos picks Thor up by his throat and decks him with a nasty left as Thor decides to charge in for a tackle, showing off his crazy vertical jumping mad far in the air and spinning them around and it's kind of romantic. Kratos looking like and starts just delivering straight headshots of CTE as they start falling down until Thor grabs Kratos by the arm slamming him onto his back and look at this <laughs> yo ass is not spider-man Kratos whips out all reliable throwing his axe at Thor as Thor whips out Mjolnir and they meet in the middle causing a charged collision while this is happening they're just standing on opposite ends roasting each other for being terrible dads which is a completely pointless argument the fuck does Hisoka and Orochimaru look like beefing over who's the child predator they both then charge in grabbing their weapons in the process and causing a giant explosion which sends them flying in opposite directions they eventually land look up and when the fuck did Groot get here 
Hey, he slid for Thor in one universe, said, hold up, I got one more enemy, and did it again in another universe. I always knew he was a real ass nigga. Thor hits Kratos with a right and tossing him into some ice. Sponges Kratos' hits and then holds him by the back of the head. Kratos has had enough, so he whips out his axe, tossing it towards the spike behind Thor. He got that Tom Brady aim and is able to knock it down. But Thor hits him with that... <laughs> Good job, buddy. Just trying to make him feel good about himself. This is exactly how Ruby Rose linked with Neon but tagged Make-A-Wish. Thor hits that shit, cracking it into pieces, and then they get into boxing again. They do that for a while until Thor tries to go in for a hammer hit and gets blocked. He then grabs Kratos by the throat and they stay on that freak timing. It's gonna be real confusing when Kratos go home telling Atreus how his throat hurts so much after fighting Thor. You're a victim. Thor even goes as far as to check out this nigga's cheeks. With all that movement back there. This is crazy. He trying to bust down Kratos like a roly. Kratos is like, oh, nah, and is not trying to catch that Tory Lanez treatment. So he headbutts Thor away and hits Thor with the absolute filthiest chin punch of all time. Look at Kratos' face. Even he can't believe how much power he put in that bitch. Thor got socked so hard he's walking in the wrong direction. All sorts of discombobulated. He like, shit, yeah, you, you death the god of war for sure. Tells Kratos that his debt has been paid and just dips out. The next day. So Kratos is posted up with Thor's daughter, planning to take her back to the crib later. And Thor is not jacking that shit, so he charges in, clocking Kratos in the chin and palming the back of his head. Kratos got himself a cranium. I just know that shit is squeaking while Thor is touching it. Kratos hits Thor with a two-piece combo, but Thor pulls in Kratos closer to let him know that he's had enough of him and his son. It's time to delete y'all from the server. I'm rooting for Kratos, of course, but I can't even blame Thor for real. Let me have a daughter in the future and let the wrong guy try to come around her. I'm gonna have you waking up to Deathstroke at the foot of your bed. Thor ends up slamming himself and Kratos into the ground hard as hell. And look at how they're both struggling to get up. Y'all getting way too old for this. I feel like I'm watching two unks going one-on-one -on -one at the barbecue. Man, I just want my burger, please. They go hit for hit, bar for bar for a while until Thor picks up Kratos throwing him into the wall. Weave, duck, weave, starts choking him, throwing Thor into the wall, delivers two gut punches that got him out here sounding like he's smacking jelly, and Kratos may be older now, but what y'all youngins know about this? Until Thor is able to finally grab a punch, punching Kratos in the chest, making him ice skate backwards on some Frozone shit, nigga was a superhero by day and in the NBA by night. Kratos throws a blade of chaos at Thor, but it backfires because Thor starts electrocuting his ass. In the previous games, Kratos has literally died and then dipped out on the table with Scar and Thanos to come back to the real world. A little lightning is nothing to him. Kratos is eating it like... <laughs> but anywho... Pulling in the blade of chaos and Mjolnir, <laughs> chucking it at Thor, but completely misses. Thor pulls Kratos in, but who's gonna tell him? Kratos had another blade in his utility belt. He'd been studying Batman. You always have to have a backup. Bruce got bombs, tear gas, and brass knuckles to stop jaywalkers. Now talk. How you ain't see the red hand sign, little nigga? Stabbing Thor in the same wound as before as he charges himself up to get Kratos out of his guts. Kratos gets up and then they begin to 1v1 some more. Kratos then picks Thor up and slams him into the ground. Goes and then tries to catch Mjolnir, but Kratos, you You're are not, not that, that guy. guy. Thor gets up behind Kratos, picks him up, and now slams him into the ground. Starts choking him while in the air, holding his hand away on some little brother shit. If we've learned anything from MCU Thor, all Kratos needs to do is hit up big bro Thanos to come handle this. Thanos was getting jumped because niggas was hating on the Supreme Helmet and still had him laid out like a mattress. Kratos then spawns in a staff, stabbing Thor in the shoulder with it. Peeps that it works and is like, oh yeah, I'm finna spam this shit. Spawning in another one, stabbing him in the gut and pushing him off of him. And then spawns in one last one just in case. As Thor is gassed out, Kratos hits him with a disgusting elbow. And while Thor is way up there, he's getting blinded by the sun shining off Kratos' head. So he charges back down blindly clashing his hammer into Thor's axe and then Thor rocks him in the chin and this is when they start clashing over and over and over again not once not twice not three times eventually stabbing Thor in the gut for the 13th thousand time and at this point I don't know how Thor is still alive I feel like after all these gut slices he should be on the ground bleeding out giving his final goodbye speech at this point Thinking about it now, Vegeta really got violated, bro. Frieza was spanking him, sticking his tail in all types of places. 
They ain't my tail, bitch. And clearly I spoke too soon, because Kratos stabs Thor in his hand, pinning him to the ground like he's using a thumbtack. Kratos then begins to kneel over him and Thor is wondering, what are you waiting on? Finish the job. They begin to chat for a while, realizing, you know what? You actually kinda chill for real, agreeing to leave in peace. But Odin pulls up and he's like, man, did I just catch you making friends, nigga? Stabbing his own son, Thor, between the titties in front of Thor's daughter, making him disappear. Rest in peace Thor man, now we know what you was doing instead of pulling up for civil war.